We've all heard about the AI revolution that's going on right now. So let's put it to the test and let's create a Python game that is only using ChatGPT. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're gonna get into ChatGPT and we're gonna ask ChatGPT to deliver us a Python program, but there's gonna be a catch. We don't want the Python program just to be a single player game. We want there to be some type of artificial intelligence. We have an opponent and it's gonna be me versus the AI that the AI made. <laughs> so let's dive into this video and let's create a Python game using only Chat GBT. All right, so what we need to do is first create our Python game directory, which we've already created in this instance, but you might need to create it on yourself. And to really just isolate this game from all the other dependencies on our computer, I'm going to create an environment. And we can do this by saying Python 3 M V E and V E and V. And when we press this, we can see that we're gonna get environment right here in our top left hand corner. And now we can go ahead and ask ChatGPT how we wanna create this game. And we ask ChatGPT, can you build a Pong game for me in Python? If we click enter here, and right here we can see that it says, certainly I can help you create a simple Pong game. And it's gonna print all of the code for us to be able to create this Pong game. What it's essentially doing is creating all of the code that we need to create a Pong game. And it's creating it in one spot just for us to be able to copy and paste and put it right into our application. This is gonna be great. If we look at the very top of here, we can see that it's going to be using something called Pygame. So that's gonna be the very first thing we wanna do. So we can say copy code and let's go back to here and let's create a new file. So new file, I'm just gonna call this main.py and I'm gonna paste all of the code right here. So the very first thing we need to do is go ahead and download Pi game though. Before we download our game, actually, we want to jump into our environment. So we can say source env slash bin slash activate. And we can see that we're in our environment because you can see it right here in the front. And now we want to go ahead and say pip install Pi game. Now, what that's doing is it's downloading all the dependencies for Pi game. We can see that it's all ready to go. Now that we just copy and pasted our code over here, let's just run the application by saying Python 3 main.py. So what it's doing right now is it's creating the game um, and whoa, and we're on the right hand side and nothing's going on the left hand side. So let's jump back into our chat GBT. And let's say the opponent is not moving and the ball is moving way too fast. So let's see if it adds more logic to our application to help with the ball moving too fast and for the opponent um, not moving at all. All right, so now let's go ahead and copy this code and let's go back to our application and let's go ahead and just close out of that and let's paste a new version of the game that ChatGPT just gave us. So we'll go ahead and run the application again and wow. <laughs> so now I'm on the left hand side and the AI just completely kicked my butt. So let's try this again and let's play python3 main.py oh yeah oh whoa the ball is changing speeds too oh i just won right there that was me this is the ai on the right hand side let's play one more time we come in here and just say python3 who got be ready oh 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 wow <laughs> i just beat the ai let's try one more time okay 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 that 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 was cheating that was cheating one more time and then we'll call it a wrap all right ai in the ball oh yeah <laughs> so there we have it so we just built a pi game complete application pong with an ai moving on the right hand side with the ball speed moving all using chat gpt and if you don't even know pi game like i don't really know pi game we just created an entire application not even knowing the library and framework that we used 
ChatGPT just did all of its AI magic to be able to create a game that we're able to actually run in our computer, a full functioning game where we're able to ask ChatGPT different questions to allow it to customize the game to fit our needs. So this is mind blowing things. Um, this is revolutionary that we talked about earlier. And um, let's keep diving in and learn more about ChatGPT.